Hello everybody, welcome back to TTM Tuesday. Another one has come upon us. Uh, before we get started, just want to give a little uh, apology to everybody. I have been a little uh, absent in the comments uh, this past week and will most likely be so next week. Just all kinds of stuff going around, but things will get back to normal, hopefully relatively soon. And now we turn our attention to the TTMs. We had six successes and um, one one fail, I would guess you would say. And here is the fail, as you can see. Um, what I didn't re focus. What I didn't realize at the time was he was using um, was signing through Pass Pros. I'll just show you what it was. And I was sending this one out to uh, Jeremy Bernitz there. So if anybody's looking, he does sign through Pass Pros. Now on to the successes, and we had a wide variety of returns. We're going to start. Actually, hold on. Let me get situated so I can actually read my notes. Perfect. With our first, we're going to the baseball, the baseball diamond. After a 40-day turnaround, one of one for free, care of the Aberdeen Ironbirds, the high A affiliate of the Baltimore Orioles. Um, I'm not sure. He was formerly the pitching coach there. I'm not sure what he's doing now. I think he might be an advisor, but that address did work. And coming back on the 87 tops, one of my favorite sets, Scott McGregor. If you're looking him up, he is the left-handed pitcher, Scott McGregor. Uh, we got a 138 and 108 career record, a 399 ERA, 904 strikeouts. Uh, played the uh, played the entirety of his career with Baltimore in 1976 through 1988. One time All Star, won the World Series uh, in 1983. Actually pitched a complete game in the World Series and is a member of the Baltimore Orioles Hall of Fame. Mr. McGregor, really nice looking signature and perfectly placed. Thank you so much. On to number two, and I love returns like this because there's all, all, all kinds of stories. 10-day turnaround, very fast, one of one for free, an address I found on Sports Card Forum in Silver Spring, Maryland. Now, if you use Sports Card Forum, you know you can search by what field they're in, um, you know, football, basketball, baseball, etc. Uh, this guy, though he played football, and I'll get into that in a minute, is in the other category, more than likely because of what he was better known for, we have Ronaldo Nehemiah coming back on the Sport Kings with a really nice message. Always aspire to be your best. I love, I love that. But if you look at the back here, rare distinction among athletes, he is a world champion in two different sports, and that is true. Uh, he actually uh, played football. He was an undrafted free agent out of the University of Maryland. Uh, I'm not sure if he actually played football. But he was taken by the San Francisco 49ers, uh, played there from 1982 to 1984, um, won the Super Bowl with them his final year in 1984. He had a total of, what is it, 47 catches, 754 yards, and four touchdowns. And uh, really, one of the main reasons that he did not continue to play football was because of the emergence of a guy by the name of Jerry Rice in San Francisco. But on the track, as you can see, you know, world record, absolutely. Had a world record uh, in the 110-meter hurdles. He was the first first person to, to do the 110 hurdles in under 13 seconds, was the number one ranked hurdler in the world for four years, won a gold medal in 1979 at the Pan Am Games and at the IAA, IAAF Cup, was inducted into the USA Track and Field Hall of Fame class of 1997, the Maryland Athletics Hall of Fame in 1998, and sadly missed out on the Olympics in 19, what was it, I think it was 1980 because of the boycott, or there was some, there was some, something that he was unable to go to the Olympics, but that is an awesome looking card, and this set is great for autographs, so Mr. Nehemiah, thank you so much. And now, continuing on with the, uh, the interesting ones, a 10-day turnaround, uh, one of one for free, uh, an address I found on Star Tiger in San Antonio, Texas. Coming back on the Tops Desert Storm, and actually I didn't realize he also signed it on the back as well. We have Lieutenant General, three stars, retired Richard G. Graves. And a little on the back, uh, U.S. Army is the commander of the Third Corps at Fort Hood, Texas. One of 13 generals who would lead the U.S. ground troops into battle in Operation Desert Storm, General Graves is highly decorated and has received such honors as the Bronze Star, the Silver Star, the Air Medal, and the Legion of Merit with Oak Leaf Cluster. And looking into him, uh, also 
won the uh, was a recipient of the Army Distinguished Service Medal later on in his career and commanded the Third Armor Corps at Fort Hood from 1981 to 1991. General Graves, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you so much, sir. Um, and then the ones that came back while I was gone, or actually right before I left, I should say. After a 20 do t- 22 day turnaround, one of one for free, care of the U.S. Fencing Association in Colorado Springs, Colorado. On the, on the Sport Kings again, signed in silver, absolutely beautifully, we have Miss Lee Kiefer. Incredible, incredible, incredible fencer. Uh, you can see there, began winning international championship gold medals in 2010, and she's won quite a lot of them. But as you can see here, this is one of the things I wanted to bring up. She competed in the Olympics in uh, the individual foil uh, in 2012 in London, 2016 in Rio, and actually won the gold medal in Tokyo in 2020 and was the first American to win the an individual gold medal in foil fencing. Uh, all totaled, uh, she has four NCAA national championships at the University of Notre Dame, 10 Pan Am team gold medals, 9 Pan Am individual medals, uh, and she uh, also they won the 2018 World Team Championship and actually currently ranked number one in the world and is the first American woman to hold such or to hold that honor. So Miss Kiefer, thank you so so much. Now, all right, let's get back to one of the big four because they come back football. 46 day turnaround, one of one for free. An address I found on Star Tiger in Alpharetta, Georgia. On the old score in the Vikings uniform, shout out Julie Farnham. We have defensive tackle Ken Clark, really nice looking signature. And did he? Yeah, signed Eagles, Vikings, and he did actually play a year or so in uh, Seattle. But uh, undrafted free agent in 1978 out of the University of Syracuse or Syracuse University, I can't remember which it actually is. Uh, played a 14 year career, played for the Eagles from 78 to 87. Played in 88 for the for the Seahawks, and then went to the Vikings from 89 to 91, credited with 59 career sacks, nine fumble recoveries, and one safety. And really nice-looking signature, I have to say. Mr. Clark, very much appreciate you. And our final one, basically it's one of these. When I said hello, everybody, at the beginning of this video, I told you all I knew about the subject to come. 14-day turnaround, one or one for free. I actually found... Um, his address in an online horse trainer directory, he's located in Pasadena, California, and we just have, oh, it's on the front, it's on the Sport Kings, but he signed the back, actually, really nice, right where the, right where his signature place should go. We have Richard Mandela, an absolutely legendary horse trainer, and actually, I couldn't find much information about him online easily, so this card will probably tell the best. Uh, Southern California native Richard Mandela spent the very early part of his training career in New York and Texas. Only a few, only after a few years did he return to California to continue what would become a National Racing Hall of Fame career. Uh, He was inducted class of 2001. Although he collected his first major win in the 1978 Bing Crosby, it was the 1990s and beyond where he enjoyed his greatest successes. Of his over 1,750 wins, and yes, he is still an active trainer, so that number will increase, uh, he's collected four Pacific Classics, the Haskell, an Arlington Million, and the 2004 Dubai World Cup. At the Breeders' Cup, he's recorded nine wins, including the 2003 Classic with Pleasantly Perfect. Perhaps his most decorated horse to date was Beholder, who was a multiple... What is that? He's saying right Oh, a multiple Eclipse winner. Um... I don't really know too much about the individual horses. I do like watching like the Kentucky Derby and the Preakness and all that. But um, that is absolutely awesome. And I'm sure if you know horse racing, you know that this guy is going to be upper echelon. Like I say, 2001 U.S. Racing Hall of Fame, still going strong. Who knows how many wins he's going to end up with when he finally retires. But Mr. Mandela, thank you so much. And thank you to everybody who joined in on this TTM Tuesday. Let me know what you think down below. We will see you tomorrow.